Hey everyone, today is uh, Thursday, July 26, 2012. Um, it's, it's sad. We, we got like less than three weeks, I guess, left on this walk. Um, but uh, hopefully we can make it close to Kansas. Uh, we, we think we're going to get not, not quite Kansas, but um, it's definitely not about the destination. It's definitely uh, about the, the journey as we've, we've learned. Um, so, uh, after, uh, don't remember what I put in the last video, but Carrie left me for a few days to go take a test in St. Louis. She had to take for uh, deaf teacher certification and she stayed there with a Cow Surfing Connection. Thanks, Kate. Uh, she got Debbie uh, Crancy to give her a ride there. But we met at uh, this one church that we were going there for service this uh, Wednesday. And uh, so that was cool. Thanks, Debbie. Uh, Carrie had an awesome time with you and she won't uh, shut up about you. She loves, uh, she loves you. And uh, so uh, I walked from Iuka, Illinois that day to somewhere. I don't really remember where, uh, the town. Um, but I uh, had an awesome chance in this one town called Salem to, um, I was interviewed by some local uh, uh, newspapers, uh, not, you know, I didn't go out looking for them, it just kind of fell into my lap. And I think I had a good opportunity to um, minister to one of the interviewers and that was, it, that was a good experience. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was genuine and it was, it was awesome. So, <coughs> went on from Salem and stayed at, uh, the church of this one, uh, the garage of this one church, uh, they let me stay there. They had like some sort of uh, furniture giveaway ministry that they let me just camp out in that spare garage. And then the next day, walked to the town of Beckemeyer, Illinois, and uh, stayed in the dugout there at the park. That was pretty cool. Um, it was nice and comfortable and, and everything. Uh, I the, the next day after that, I went to church. Um, in uh, this little town called Brees for uh, morning service and uh, there was a little Baptist church there. I got to go there and uh, met, met a family there that uh, was actually heading into St. Louis that day. Um, on my way there, God told me uh, that he was going to uh, supply me with someone that was going to be able to take my stuff uh, ahead for me. Um, I, want, I didn't want to carry my stuff with me into East St. Louis. St. Louis is the number one crime uh, place in the in America at the moment and I didn't want to take my stuff through East St. Louis because it's um, it's like the worst part of St. Louis not that I was really afraid of uh, getting stolen but just didn't want to be a fool about it uh, just you know just being smart and so for a few days I was just carrying my Bible and the cross with me and uh, didn't have anything else just those two things and it was great the, those few days just walking possessionless it was uh, I really enjoyed that but um, so, <coughs> next day I went to this youth group um, in a little town. can't remember all these towns' names, but I got to meet um, Levi there. He was a youth pastor, 22 years old. Great, solid dude. Uh, really, really great dude. Um, hung out there with him that night, just stayed up talking. Met uh, some friends there and it was just, just been awesome. Had a great opportunity to just uh, fellowship with people. Just, uh, be discipled by people and di disciple people and just it's uh, been really great that and see what else. Um, the next day, <coughs> uh, Carrie met up with me the next day to uh, walk. She was bored in the city so she met up with me. Then we, um, we were walking and we got stopped by this guy who had seen us walking like more than a week before. Um, in uh, this town called Clay City, uh, name's Ryan. Uh, so Ryan stopped, talked to us, and uh, we got something to eat with him, and it was awesome. And Carrie left me later that night as we reached the outskirts of East St. Louis, and uh, she rode the subway back into the city while I found somewhere to stay that night, and Ryan supplied me with a place to stay that night. Thanks, Ryan, it was awesome. Just a really great time uh, meeting you and your son, and that was really cool. So, next day, walk through East St. Louis, and. Um, uh, it was, walked walk through there during the morning and it was kind of not what I had expected. I expected to maybe experience some hostility or, or something like that, but um, people there were generally uh, longing for the cross and it was, it was kind of cool, but um, then I was walking through the uh, downtown St. Louis in Missouri, crossed into Missouri about, uh, around noon 
and uh, was stopped by a homeless person. Didn't really look homeless. He was selling these magazines. They buy for a quarter, then sell for a dollar. It's uh, a way to gain some self-respect as a uh, as uh, someone in poverty. And um, he stopped me and was trying to sell me stuff. And I. I uh, gave him some five dollars and just kind of left and I was just like uh, on my own mission to get to where I wanted to go and then something just told me to turn around and um, just because like I was leaving and he said thanks have a blessed day sir and I just like man I walked away and I just felt cruddy like like I was the poor one after that and so I turned around and got to talking to him and we talked for about 20 minutes and it was uh, just a uh, it was just great I, I felt spiritually full after that and uh, Gave him a little bit more money and headed on after that. Didn't really experience any hostility. Um, well, just a little bit going through St. Louis, but that was it. Um, talked to a guy at a Christian bookstore down there. Um, it was a, a good time to minister there, actually. Uh, not going to get too much into that, but um, then met up with Carrie. We stayed at a place that night, but we met up with someone that she had kind of heard about named Jeremy. Um, through someone that she met at a Panera Bread and so we got to hunt, hang out with him uh, his friends Zach and uh, and Brandon and that was just really it's really cool uh, we stayed there until like 1230 and just fellowshipping uh, sharing testimonies and everything and um, yeah that was really cool so then yesterday we walked from there to uh, to uh, this little church it was called West County Assembly of God and they let us stay in their little uh, their, their spare house and so we we've been walking today um, in Missouri we're uh, just outside this little town called Wildwood we met someone earlier and uh, her name's Christine and she's she offered to put us up for the night so we're about to meet her in like five minutes uh, so um, just really great the way God's working things out on this walk and um, you know it's 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 incredible I really wish I could explain to you guys the magnitude of everything that's been happening but definitely growing stronger in the Lord and stronger in uh, everything that concerns faith and just just everything and uh, it's just a, a great experience and um, I'm just so blessed to be able to do this Carrie and I are just loving every minute of it and um, you know it's just it's just awesome um, so Thank you everyone for all the emails, the calls of support, the texts. We miss everyone that, that we've met along the way. We try and stay in contact, but it's, it's hard to call everyone every day. But, um, you know, uh, everyone be praying for uh, Mark. We met uh, him, the tennis family, a uh, few weeks back and uh, he got surgery and just be praying for his hand there. Be praying for Gary Mitchell, the cancer walker that we walked with before. He was re-diagnosed with stage one cancer. So uh, be praying for him. He goes for... Uh, goes for surgery on the 20th of August, I, I believe, and uh, so uh, keep us in your prayers. We hope to uh, catch up with everyone soon. Uh, email us, call us, text us, anything. It's all on the website, joshwalksamerica.com. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, uh, be blessed in the city, be blessed in the field, be blessed when you come and when you go, as uh, the brother Wellborn would say, uh, inside joke, but uh, uh, we love you guys.